everyone, we're back. We're checking out companies involved in the K startup scene here at CES 2023. My name is Alex Sigrist, and we're going to check out the company right there. We're going to Z Emotion to say hello. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, Z Emotion. What is Z Emotion? It's all about 3D fashion. I, I, digital I, fashion. I, I, digital fashion. So, what does that mean? I, I'm someone who knows nothing about fashion. Tell it to me simply. Okay, so we basically are helping uh, the fashion industry moving toward the metaverse um, digital world. So they can create a digital asset, like a fashion asset using our technology and using it for their e-commerce, metaverse, gaming, even NFT. Okay, so perfect. So if we're looking at the screen right now, that is a video creating a right. custom avatar. Is that what's happening? Exactly. And so that avatar, you can change the body type, the clothing, exactly. the fit. Right, right. So uh, basically on the left hand side, you see the, the 2D pattern, which is like basically cut the, the fabric. Sure. So starting from there, the fashion designers can create a digital uh, fashion items and drape it on onto the, uh, the, the custom avatar. Mm -hmm. We can change the body size, change the, the shape of the, yeah. the avatar and basically they can move toward the metaverse. So right now, what, is this the concept of like having a, right. a virtual place to shop? Is that what exactly, we're exactly. looking at? Okay, right. and so someone could come here and potentially look at these models, let's see, these mannequins that are mm -hmm. built mm -hmm. by your system or? Right, okay. right. All right. So uh, the, uh, the users can navigate around the virtual the retail store. They can click and see the very detail about the clothes. They can buy, they can try, and they can do many things with that. Is this Z Emotion's first time here at CES? No, uh, we, we were here last time too. We were here last year as well. Can you tell us a little bit about this experience now that it's kind of opened up? It's pretty crowded compared to last time, right? Right, exactly, right. How's it been going for you and what are your goals this year? Okay, so this time looks like more people and more people are aware of the, the, the like a Web 3D, like right. NFT, metaverse, things like that. We're getting a lot of attention. Our goal is today is that we want to spread our words and you know, let people know what we are doing. And basically, uh, we want to meet more clients. What is your big long-term goal? Like, this is the dream for the company. We've made it. What's five years? Where are you guys? So exactly, like, uh, we want to uh, connect fashion brands, fashion companies to the digital world. They can sell more products through the, our company. That's our goal. Well, now I want to talk about the sales and the trends in this industry in itself. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, the what are the trends in digital, online, metaverse, fashion? Like, what is the trend? Sure. Well, first, my name is Scott Oldham. I'm the VP. Hi, what's your name? Uh, and, uh, <laughs> let me introduce you. I'm so rude. I'm sorry. I'm the VP of sales for Z Emotion. Um, I've been with the company all of two months, but I've been in the industry for 35 years, uh, 20 of it in technology, and the last 10 of it being in what I'll call disruptive technologies, <clears throat> which is kind of part and parcel to what Z Emotion is about. It's a disruptive technology. It's all about digitizing the experience of the, the, the consumer experience of buying clothes, of, of factories making clothes, of how you market clothes. Um, so really what we're doing is we're trying to enhance the entire value chain, if you will, of apparel from the design concept all the way through a customer putting it on their body. So we hope to be able to collapse the amount of time that it takes to develop clothing. We look to let people try on clothing virtually so they won't have to go to stores and spend time making decisions on buying clothes. Um, and ultimately, that they'll be able to um, you know, trust in that they can shop for their clothing virtually without having to spend all that additional time and money um, to do tr shopping traditionally. So that's really the trend right now that we're looking at is giving a an immersive virtualized experience to customers that actually starts way behind the scenes with the clothing manufacturers. Well, with that being said, let me ask you this question. When do you think, uh, I assume you know the business themselves will adapt it before customers do. When are customers gonna be used to this? Do you think it's like a, a five-year thing, a two-year thing? Where, when am I going to go shopping online for my clothes on this one? What's your goal, I should say? Well, I mean, the, the goal is that it should be available today. Okay. The, re the reality is that there is a, there's a curve mm -hmm. that people have to get over themselves, basically, right. and, be, and be prepared to see themselves 
for who they really are, right? Like, a lot of consumers will look at buying a piece of clothing based on what size it is, regardless of if it fits them or not. Mm. They want to say, I'm a size six, <laughs> right? Yeah, when I got in, that. When in reality, they're a 10. Okay, yeah. so these things happen. So the the idea of getting people over themselves and being able to look at themselves organically for who they really are is the first step of this. Once people are able to just say, I don't care what the number is of what clothing I'm wearing, it needs to fit me, it needs to look good, it needs to be durable, blah, 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 blah. I can imagine then if you're doing this in the safe space of your own computer, you can be more honest with yourself and uh, as you learn about it and you're not worried about someone judging you from the side yeah, anyway. Right. There's no there's no digital shaming going on right. <clears throat> because this is a very personalized experience. Well there you go, that's some of the trends that we're looking at. That was Scott from Z Emotion. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, my last question, what does the Z stand for? Oh yeah, well is it Generation Z? Is it fashion? Is it is it I have no idea. Exactly, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you so much, and uh, best of luck this week. All right, thank you. See, there you go. So there it is, Z Emotion. Check them out. They're here at CES. And uh, go find them online if you're interested in, the, in making fashionable 3D model figurines for your metaverse. See you around. Thank you.